back and do a little skincare video, which feels quite weird because I'm literally standing in my bathroom with no makeup on, which is fine, it's very normal, it's a normal situation for me, but actually posting on YouTube without a scrap of makeup on is quite intimidating. I did think that it would be a bit weird to sit and talk about my skincare and talk through my skincare routine with a full face of makeup on, um, especially because recently I have suffered on and off with my skin and I really wanted to be able to talk about kind of why what I'm using perhaps I think has helped and kind of see the difference a little bit. I did a post kind of recently on my blog which spoke about having spots and some of the things that were really remedying that. I'll link it below so you can kind of see but basically I just wanted to kind of almost have a point now where I can see my skin as it is now from then because even in the last couple of months it's changed for the better. Um, and maybe these products worked, I, I feel like I hope, I hope they did, um, but I've kind of got a solid routine which I'm really happy with and posted on Insta stories whether anyone would like to see a video like this and the response was a positive yes. So I thought I'd get on with that down, I thought I'd show you what I use, how I use it. I say that like there's some kind of weird concoction, it's just me splashing myself. But anyway, shall we move on to the first thing which will be cleansers. So there are two cleansers I've been using kind of pretty much consistently since January this year. That is this one, which is the Vici Normaderm. Here we go. Which I actually picked up in boots. I think at the beginning of last year, I was having a really bad time with my skin and I kind of looked through some of the things I've been sent and nothing really seemed to tick the box that I was after, which was something that was just going to help wash away any nastiness and hopefully try and prevent some spots. So I saw this in boots. Um, I know it's like a French pharmacy favourite as well. Um, sometimes I order it from Amazon so it has a different language on it, but this one is in English um, and it's just the gel deep purifying cleanser and I absolutely love it. This is a new bottle um, because I've also been using another cleanser which I'll talk to you about in a second, but this has been really lovely. I feel like the cleanser in my routine is the one thing I don't love switching out a lot. I speak to different people and some people are like, oh no, that's the thing, I'm hap I'll happily switch around. and. I know you'll speak to different people and different people will say, oh, I like to use different cleansers depending on what my skin needs. And I think it's such a personal thing. Some people love them, changing them, some people don't. But for me, it's really been about finding something that just helps get my makeup off. Um, normally, if I use this, I will use like a micellar water to get my eye makeup off just because I feel like with a gel, I don't know, it's like getting shampoo in your eyes. I don't know, it's like it just doesn't sit right with me about that. But um, I normally use a micellar with this, but this is a brilliant, brilliant cleanser. I've loved using that. The other one, which is is no surprise to anyone, is one that I've used for ages, my mum uses, my nan uses, um, is obviously Linz. Linz? <laughs> Linz. Uh, is obviously Liz L Cleanse and Polish. It's just such an old school favourite, but it was one I was actually kind of re kind of re came back into my life in this summer. I did a trip with them, which was brilliant. Um, I hadn't used it in a while and I saw a couple of my friends using it and they were using it to take all their eye makeup off as well and being someone that normally uses like a micellar and then straight on to a cleanser I was like oh maybe I could just use one cleanse that gets everything off um, so I restarted using this after maybe a year of not using it and I've just fallen in love with it again um, it's just a really nice all-rounder cleanser it's great if my skin needs a bit of hydration it's great if it just is breaking out. It's just a nice all round kind of thing and I use it to take my makeup off. Um, I use it in the morning and the evening. I don't switch out my cleansers um, morning and evening dependent and I just, it gets everything off and then I use like a muslin cloth or like a flannel to just, you know, get away all the eyeliner and pander eyes. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. So yeah, they're both really, really just lovely cleansers and the two that have just made up my skincare Say skincare wardrobe, that sounds a bit dickish, doesn't it? Skincare wardrobe this year. Let me move on to the next product, which is actually something that I discovered about just over a week ago. Um, so it's probably, it is the newest thing in here, and normally I'd be a bit reluctant to include something so new, but it's something that I feel could be something that's changed my skin, like quite dramatically for the better. And it is this, it is the Sunflore, Sunflore Aqua Magnifica, which sounds very fancy, and the Skin Perfecting Botanical Essence. And I went to a skincare event last week, and I don't normally go to many things like press days, and she's not that like, cool, or, I don't know, I just kind of wait till I discover things. And this was a brand that I was kind of seeing, I think I've seen them on ASOS, 
and I didn't really know a lot about them. I feel like the packaging looks kind of quite sophisticated. I was like, maybe it's not for me. And then I got a bit of an introduction to the brand, and what I was told is that this is meant to be an incredible product for someone that gets breakouts. It smells kind of minty, like almost slightly tea tree-ish. Um, that's a terrible description. Um, but it's their skin perfecting botanical essence and it releases impurities, oxygenates skin, retightens pores and eliminates, um, illuminates, sorry. And it's an essential oil um, and I feel like it might have like a menthol in it or like a, it says mentha piperita. But they are fully organic um, and I basically took this home and I didn't really know what to expect from it. And I don't really ever use anything like a toner or anything in between my cleanser and moisturiser. Maybe an eye cream or a spot cream or something like that if I need it. And I just started using this. As you can see, I've kind of got through it quite quickly. But I just put it on a cotton pad morning and evening. And it smells amazing. And the reason I'm quite sure it's done a great job. Because normally I wouldn't mention something until properly giving it a real run. But I've got... A really damn heavy period at the moment which maybe that's TMI but normally around this time I would be getting horrible whiteheads, horrible spots and although I do have a bit of scarring on my chin which is kind of there all year round I haven't had any I've had maybe one tiny spot which has just gone and I don't know whether they're coming <laughs> but it just has managed to keep a lot of bay and I'm just really really impressed um, I will do an update I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial in a couple of weeks perhaps um, and I'll let you know how I'm getting on with this because so far I'm just so impressed um, but I'll, I'll keep you updated basically but I really I'm really excited to talk about that so yeah big thumbs up for me okay so moving on to moisturizers I've got two camps for these I've got the day creams and the night creams um, so I'm gonna start with day and um, morning um, and the two that I really love using are here there is the superfood day cream from Elemis which is something I started using this summer and it's really nice because it doesn't feel like it leaves any residue on the skin and it's really nice and glowy and hydrating without, I don't know, being too much of a sticky surface for foundation to go on. So I love using that. It feels like, because it says super food on it, I feel like I'm having like a green juice on my face in the morning, which is good because I don't have green juice anywhere else. The other thing that I love using is this Original Skin by Origins and I've been using this since January on and off. Um, mainly because I run out and then I forget to repurchase but I absolutely love this because it's quite a mattifying kind of moisturiser you pop it on your skin and then it doesn't ball up when you put foundation on top it's just so nice and hydrating but just leaves a really nice matte finish which is quite unusual but I absolutely love it, it smells really gorgeous it smells quite like their ginseng um, moisturiser which is really kind of fresh and like I don't know it's good in the mornings because it feels like ooh I feel all healthy on my face. But yeah, absolutely love that. And yeah, they're just the two that I kind of switch in and out from. Um, so they're really great. In terms of eye cream, I don't really ever use an eye cream, but there's one, which is this one, that I do use. If, I, if I'm feeling like I need it, if I feel like I need a bit of a pep. And it's the Dr. Dennis Gross, what's the name of this one? It's the Hyaluronic Marine Duetal Eye Gel, which I love it even more now because it's put in that little little pun there which I appreciate. This is really nice because it's, I mean I don't know an awful lot about eye creams, I know that they hydrate under your eyes, I know that I don't really ever suffer from huge bags, I know I look, I look a bit tired today typically but um, I just feel that I think this, this is great for travelling, it's nice because I just pop it in my like little clear bag and just pop it on under, under a long flight, during a long flight which is really great. I'm still not totally kind of fluent in eye creams, I don't know too much about them. I feel like with a lot of skincare I've still got a lot to learn, um, especially with like serums and acids and things like that, I get a bit intimidated by them, but people like Caroline Hirons and Emma from Lily to Say So are just brilliant at filling you in, so I'll pop those, those people down below. So night creams are probably the biggest category because they're the thing I don't mind switching up too much depending on what my skin needs, so I've got a lot of ones that really cater to deep, intense hydration because um, that's the thing that I normally, at the end of the day, especially in winter, I get a bit like parched. Um, so the ones I've really, really been loving are this one, which is from Beauty Pie. Not just great packaging, y'all. And this is the Jeju Overnight Moisture Super Infusion. I had to look at that because that is a mouthful. But this is really lovely. It's almost, it's a really unusual texture. It's kind of, I can't really describe it. I, I pop my finger in like so and it's almost like it feels slightly matte 
um, and then it just blends in really nice. It's almost balm-like, but still has that kind of, I don't know, like it feels hydrating. I can't think what it feels like. I'm trying to think about the products I use that are similar, but it's, yeah, it's really unlike anything I've used before, but it's a really nice, I thought this would be quite a nice base during the day, even though it's an eye cream, but it's really, really gorgeous. Leaves my skin feeling really plump in the morning um, and not sticky or, I don't know, with some night cream, sometimes you go to bed with them on and you wake up and you still feel a bit like damp. <laughs> but this is lovely and you don't worry about it like pressing onto your pillows or anything. The other one that I absolutely love is this one. Oops, it's a bit busy around here. Is this one from Eucerin, which is actually a day cream, but it's called their Hyaluron Filler which sounds very fancy, but this is a really nice kind of drugstore brand. I actually picked this up in Boots um, maybe about August time, and I heard quite a lot about it online, so I went and checked it out, and this is great. This is a day cream for dry skin, but I do use it in the evening, so you could use it either way around, but it does the job in the evening. And this is just literally what it does, what it says on the tin. It's just a very great, creamy, relatively thick, um, moisturizer and it says it plumps up the appearance even the deepest wrinkles from the inside so what you don't know is actually I have very deep wrinkles but they're plumped. It's really lovely it smells it's got quite a significant smell which I don't mind at all but it is quite fragranced if you're into that or not but it's really nice it, it's, it feels quite thick to apply but it does absorb really quickly but I love using this in the evening it feels like it does a really great job of just hydrating really really deep into the soul, um, no, just deep into my skin, which is really great. So I love that. Now there's about four other moisturizers that I do kind of tend to flutter between when it comes to day and night time. So I've picked out three here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I have done a blog post talking about all of these extensively, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. And I feel like this is gonna be quite a long video without that. Um, but the ones that I've included are Dr. Robux No Worries Hydrating Face Moisturizer, which is gorgeous the Shiseido Essential Energy, and then Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturiser, which, that is a tongue twister in itself, but these are all really gorgeous. I'm gonna link the blog post below just to fill you in on those, um, no pun intended. And I will talk to you about the last few things I've got. I've got like a mask and a couple of balms and then a tanner as well. So I'm gonna pop these down really quickly. <laughs> the kind of masky cream that I really love as well in the evenings for hydrations is this one, which is the Pixie Rose Ceramide Cream. I actually picked this up when I was in Marks and Sparks doing a food shop. Um, not a big shop, FYI. Um, and I just saw this, I hadn't tried it before, but I love rose products normally, and it says intensive moisturiser as well, so I was like, hello. Absolutely love this. I use this maybe once a week when my face really needs a good drink and absolutely gorgeous. Very rose scented, really nice and hydrating, and I just pop it on in the evening, sleep on it and wake up a new woman. And I love Pixie, I love their tonic. So I don't know, when I, I feel like when I, like Mark Suspense has got such a great skincare selection that I kind of poot all my way to the bakery, bit of shortbread and then I'm like, oh, what's that? Um, so I really love that. A couple more things and then I promise I'm done. <laughs> I just couldn't narrow it down. But I might quickly move on to Tanner and this Isle of Paradise fake tan. Um, I haven't used this since the summer, um, which is ironic because right now is when I need it the most. And it's something I am going to put back in my routine because I look so much better in the summer when I have a bit of a glow. And this is just perfect for this. I used it for the first time in March this year and I was really under the weather, I had a really bad cold, and it still made me feel really like pepped up and ready to go. And it's so easy to apply, um, even for me who has never ever delved into tanning before. But I trust Jules with my with my skin, as going with my life, probably in my life too, but I trust you with my skin and it's absolutely gorgeous. That's in boots as well. I'm gonna wrap up and talk about lip balms quickly because I get the driest lips ever. I feel like even talking now, it's like when people mention dry lips, <laughs> Joe's just gone. <laughs> I always feel like I need to lip them because they get so dried out so quickly, especially this time of year. I'll be doing an Insta story and I'm like, whoa. But there's three that I really love using at the moment. The first is Glossier Balm.com's in, I like using the mint one at the moment. It tastes quite nice as well. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it, but Maybe that's why my lips are so dry. Um, I also love using this Malin and Goetz one, which is just, it's more of um, more of like a glossy lip balm. So this is quite good because it's really matte, so it's great under lipsticks. This is slightly more glossy, so it kind of 
acts on its own. Do you like using this one before I go to bed? Last but not least is, <laughs> I feel like I'm really like storming through these things, but the last but not least is this one from Pi, which is a head to toe hero and it's their balm. Um, this is more kind of, you can use it on your lips, but I kind of use it with my eye, under my eyebrows just to kind of tame them. Also love using it on my hands because it's not too sticky, like around my cuticles because they get really dry and gross. Um, and it's just one of their great products, probably great for all sorts of things. But I've just recently started trying this and was really impressed. So yeah, that seems to be everything. Sorry, that was a bit of a mouthful towards the end. I'm just conscious that I've not drawn breath um, and didn't want to go on and on and on and on. So I really hope you enjoyed this video um, and it was potentially a bit useful. I really love talking about skincare and beauty, even though I don't do it too often on this channel. Um, but I really enjoy writing about it as well. So I thought I'd just refresh that kind of section of this channel and give you an introduction to what I've been loving. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will do maybe a beauty one quite soon, maybe like a tutorial or something. But I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.